uh, the U.S. is going to overtake Saudi Arabia in the output of crude oil this year. I think that makes America the energy dominant power in the world. Joining us now is Dan Eberhardt. He's the CEO of Canary LLC. That's an oil drilling company. What is this? Now, if America is indeed the dominant energy power, what does that mean for oil prices? We, we keep a kind of a check on it. That's what it means, right? Yeah, well, I think, I think it does mean a check, but the oil prices are, look, uh, increasing supply. The U.S. has about doubled its production since 2008, and I think overall that has a moderating effect on the prices. I also think that this uh, American shale basically means that shale is the uh, the um, uh, inter sh shale is the uh, moderating force and what's going to determine the supply, whether the price goes up or down, not OPEC uh, for the foreseeable future. Why have I not heard anything about this? It seems like our national security is enhanced. We are the dominant global power in energy, but I hear nothing about it except on this program. Why is that? Well, I, I don't know. I think more people need to talk about it. Look, I think if America can, su can supply its own energy, if America can export energy, I think it makes America and our allies more stronger and more relevant in the world. I think this is a great deal, Steve. Mm. I mean, energy dominant, the United States, doubling our production of oil since 2008. What's wrong with that? Uh, the answer is nothing, unless you're Vladimir Putin. And uh, the Europeans, as we get to get these uh, liquefied natural gas permits, uh, more and more done more quickly, you'll see the Europeans loving the fact, even though they may hate us, loving the fact they have an alternative supply of natural gas than the Russians. And uh, that reduces Russia's uh, impact in Europe, and that's only a good thing. Have we started exporting energy yet? We haven't. We, well, in a few years, we'll be a yeah. net exporter. You're know, a net exporter, but we are exporting a lot of petroleum products today, refined re uh, products. And if we get these permits uh, on a fast track, we'll be exporting liquefied natural gas and not losing market share to countries like Australia right. and others in Qatar who are moving ahead when Obama prevented us from doing da this. Dan mm -hmm. Eberhardt, tell, uh, coming back in again, uh, are, sure. we, are we going to be exporting a lot of natural gas, liquefied natural gas in the future? Yeah, yes, I think when we get when we get this uh, permit situation figured out and we get to exporting, I think it's going to be a huge boom. I'd also add to the conversation about 30 seconds ago. So from a, a standing start two years ago, we're exporting about two million barrels a day of oil. And I think that the I think that there's more room for that in the market. And I think that's a great American success story with American jobs. And I think it enhances our security interests uh, internationally as well. Good stuff. Dan Eberhardt, thanks for joining us, sir. Appreciate it. Very good. Thank um, you. Back to